Cancer. Welcome to your love connection reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Please check the description box below for any and all information that you need about me, personal readings, um, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of information there. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly, greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And before we get start, started, just a quick shout out to all my new subscribers, those who have reached out for personal readings, and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support. It really means a lot to me, and I truly love to do you do this for you guys. So any support you can give the channel would really help it out and would be greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much. Okay, Cancer. First half of September already. Can you believe it? I don't know where time is going. I hope everybody's doing well. Cancer. All right. Cancer love connection. This can be any type of connection with whomever you have in mind. So any kind of connection with whoever you have in mind. If you clicked on the title, then obviously there's probably something in here for you. So this is a zodiac oracle, so we may get a planet, sign, or element, and we'll see how that plays into your reading. If you find you don't resonate with whatever comes out here, that's totally fine. Rest of the message may be for you. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. Okay, so what may some Cancerians be dealing with the first half of September in this love connection spirit, please? Thank you so much. We have one card for cancer. What could they be dealing with the first half of September? It's way too many. In love, can we have one card, please? Thank you so much. All right, so that one flipped over, so I think that's your card. So we have Earth. So some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, um, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. If not, this just could be the energy of Earth, which is a very stable, grounded, secure energy. It's about slow growth. It's about security, dependability, um, planting the seeds and sowing the seeds and having things uh, grow uh, slowly. It's all about stability, material things, monetary things. So in 26 is eight, which is about um, usually communication, travel, action, movement of some kind. So there may be movement forward progression in your connection, but it may be very slow moving. Earth is very a slow, very slow moving energy, but it's a very stable, secure, grounded energy. All right, and it's about being, you know, practical and smart and wise and thinking things through thoroughly and clearly and make sure you're doing things uh, for the best, doing things that are the best for you or others around you. All right. So let's get an overall energy for you and your love connection energy for the first half of September. But first, let's get an overall energy for you, Cancer, for you and your love connection. Can we have one overall love energy card, please, Spirit, for Cancer and their love connection for the first half of September. All right, well, we got meditation, number eight, wow. And 26 is eight with Earth, so we have two cards of eight, which is about taking some form of action um, in movement in a situation. So this is meditation. So. I'm not getting like you have to meditate on this connection, but maybe um, this is an energy of really taking the time and being practical and still and grounded and really think long and hard um, about this connection. You know, what do you truly want from this connection? Uh, what are you getting your needs met with this connection? Are you being f fulfilled by this connection? Is it practical? Is it stable? Is it grounded? Is it secure? I think here at meditation, you really need, need to take some time off on your own and think about your person and this connection and what is best for you. It's kind of the energy I'm getting with that. But you see the heart there is lit up and it's bright. So there definitely, there definitely is love and emotions involved in this connection for sure here with that heart 
being lit up and on fire, there may be passion also. But is there more than just passion? All right. So, Cancer, let's get one card for you, how you are feeling about your person and about this connection. And then we'll get one card for your person and how they are feeling about you and this connection. So let's get one card for Cancer Spirit, please. One card for Cancer and this connection. Thank you. And then one card for their person and how are they feeling about Cancer and this connection. How is Cancer's person feeling about them and feeling about this connection spirit, please? Can we have one card for them? Thank you so much. One card for Cancer's person. All right. I know their person may be a little stubborn because their card didn't want to come out. <laughs> All right. So let's see how you are feeling. So we have Soul Family. Wow. Okay. 36-9. Nines are about coming to a completion or coming to an end of a cycle here. And I'm not feeling like uh, it's the end of this. I'm just thinking that maybe the two of you just really need to sit down and talk and think about um, your future, what you want from each other, where is this going. But I definitely feel like here you feel they are definitely your soulmate. You come from the same tribe, the same uh, soul family, the same soul tribe. You soul family, you definitely feel like this person is your soulmate. Definitely here. See how your person is feeling. Divine feminine. So if, <laughs> wow. And three and one, four, which is about foundation and stability and structure and the basis of foundation, which is in that earth energy. So now you could be the divine feminine or they could be, you know, you could be male with feminine energy, female with masculine energy. It's all energy. So they are definitely feel like you are their divine feminine for sure. That this is a divine connection. And their heart is lit up. And I feel like here you like their heart is lit up and on fire. But you know from like deep within your soul, your heart, your mind, your whole being that this is a spiritual divine soulmate connection right now they're just feeling it in their heart so maybe they're not as um maybe they're more of like that earth-based foundation and you're more of like the spiritual you know the earth and the spiritual side and the soul side you know you have it all where i think they are a more practical heart approach but they definitely feel like you are their divine feminine or vice versa here or whatever here you are their divine feminine and is a divine connection wow okay so what do we have soul craft wow <laughs> 10 which is about endings and new beginnings so i feel like that you could be um what's under that soul tree wow i can't not make this up soul craft soul tree wow and joy so a lot of joy here in this connection um let me see that okay joy soul craft so this is uh crafting your soul like um living out your soul purpose knowing your soul purpose and being who you truly are so i feel like this and look these two cards are so similar right here um i definitely feel like here crafting this connection uh and what you want it to be is definitely here a soulmate connection here a lot of joy and happiness in soul tree so again and i had said coming from the same soul tribe the same soul family the same soul tree three here which is about coming together teamwork collaboration working together so I think you really need to think about what you want in this connection, where you want to go from here. Do you want the same things moving forward, working together? But definitely you know, both know this is a soulmate connection here. Wow. Wow. Okay, so. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe like all soul tree, soul craft, soul family. And then we have soul writing under that, which, you know, I'm not sure what that means, but uh, 
another soul card underneath, so wow. Okay. Let's clarify now. Cancer. Wow. Big soulmate connection here. Um, really need to think about the basis and foundation moving forward in this connection. Uh, what do you both want moving forward? How can you... Um, let's see. What do I want to say now? Uh, how can you, like secure down this foundation like anchor it down and move forward all right so let's get one card for you let's clarify for you cancer one card for you to clarify soul family and the one card to clarify your person with divine feminine spirit please thank you so much can we have one card for cancer please spirit thank you so much one card well, we got two. Okay, so you have the Five of Swords in reverse, and they have Justice in reverse. Hmm. So the Five of Swords is uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and this is, whoops, Libra. So, <laughs> so I feel like with the Five of Swords in reverse, um... The Five of Swords is an energy of like getting ahead at any means, um, doing what you need to do, not really care, not really caring who you hurt, what you have to do, um, or how you go about doing it. You just, you know, it's like a very ego-driven, selfish kind of card. But in reverse here, um, I feel like you know you want to take your time with this person. Like you don't want to sabotage it in any way. Because uh, you know this is a very divine soulmate connection. So if that means you have to let them walk away for a while or you need to spend some time alone, as in with the meditation here, to really think about things, uh, you may do that. Because you don't want to sabotage this connection in any way. Then they have justice in reverse. So for some reason I'm getting, even though it's a very divine soulmate connection here, could have a lot of joy and happiness and be very practical, stable, sturdy, and grounded. But with the eight there and the eight there, that's some sort of action, communication, travel that needs to be taken here. And I feel like with the justice in reverse that things aren't, um, things aren't balanced out yet. For some reason, you know, you probably haven't had this communication. You probably haven't had this conversation yet about where your relationship is going. Are we committing to one another? Are we exclusively dating? Are we going to plan a future together? Are we going to stabilize this connection and ground it down and build from the bottom to the top? So, and I feel like with the Five of Swords energy is like you kind of not initiating that conversation, like you don't want to sabotage it and ruin it. And they're not speaking either with the community with the uh, justice in reverse like there's no communication there's no balancing of the scale so you're both in that energy of not wanting to sabotage the connection even though you know the connection is there that's interesting wow and with the meditation you could both be like maybe separated from each other now not really communicating um where you want this to go from here Wow, so let's get what the actual situation, three cards for Cancer, what their actual, oh, that's way too many, what their actual situation is. Oh, and I got three. Okay, they're all in reverse. All right, so the Six of Swords here is about setting out on a journey and going into going into a more calmful peaceful place here so we have swords swords and cups so I'm trying to figure out if this is in reverse okay so this is face up this is in reverse and this is I think face up so the actual situation here is with the six of swords is wanting to get into a better place like you're wanting to move forward together and leave whatever is not serving you behind and take with you what, with what you need 
and move together in a more peaceful, harmonious, peaceful place, calmer place, a better place. And that's connecting to you. So you have the five and then the six of swords. So you have the five in reverse and the six upright. So you're not wanting to step on their toes or sabotage this in any way, but yet you want to move forward with them to a better place. And then connecting to them is the Four of Cups. So again, with no communication and no truths being had, the, scal the, the scallons, <laughs> scales not being balanced. And here's the Four of Cups. So again, nobody communicating, nobody extending out an offer, no offers coming in, just kind of sitting there kind of blah and melancholy, like, you know, they don't know what to do. Do I come forward? Do I, you know, I feel they're my divine feminine. Or I, I do feel the soulmate connection, but I don't know what to do. I'm not balancing the scales. I'm not communicating. Definitely not communicating here or offering anything out with the Four of Cups energy. Just being kind of bleh. Oh, Cancer. What the heck? And then you have the Ten of Wands in reverse. So, and that's right in the middle of, of your spread for the situation. So, this is an end to the, to the burdening uh, thoughts, ideas. Uh, things going through your mind in this situation of you both feeling like burdened because nobody's taking the steps to move forward into the direction that you know you both want to go in, but nobody's communicating about moving forward to a better place or making that offer. Just carrying around the weight and the burden of your feelings, how you feel where you want to go, how you want to move forward. Like you want to lay down all those burdens, just spill the beans, tell them what you want. Hey, I love you. I like you. I want to commit to you. I want to move forward with you. I see my future with you. I see stabilizing, stabilizing things with you and building this foundation with you with the earth energy. But it's very slow moving here and nobody's taking that step forward here to release all that burden in... Uh, get things rolling here. Oh, Cancer. Oh, boy. All right, so let's see. Um, let me put the camera down. All right, so let's see what your advice is, Cancer. Let's see. Oops. Advice for Cancer. Can we have a couple cards for Cancer? That's two. Okay. So what do we have here? So we have death. I think that's, no, 13. Yeah, that's death. And we have strength. Wow. So, and they're both in reverse. So, no, the death, I think this is right side up. I'm not sure. This deck confuses me. This is the vice versa deck. There's images on both sides. And I know this is in reverse. See the difference. But this one... I think this one is right side up. So the death here is a Scorpio. I mean, we had ear, fire, cups over here. Now this is Scorpio. And this is Leo. So the strength in reverse is... Uh, you know, nobody has the willpower, courage, or strength to come forward. So the advice for you in this situation here is to, the death energy here is to end all this burden, stress, anxiety of this connection, to end all that, to end these burning thoughts, ideas, feelings you're keeping bottled up inside here with the Four of Cups energy, and to come out of this, I don't want to say cowardly place, but this place of fear is to end that place of fear and stress, anxiety, and burden, and just um, move forward to this person. It's time to end all that so you can have a new start, a rebirth with this person. Cancer. You're stuck. You both are stuck. Nobody's coming forward. Saying, because look at this right here, you have the Ace of Pentacles. So, all right, so let's get one for your possible outcome in this situation, Cancer. And we have one card for the possible outcome for Cancer in this love connection. The first half of September spirit, please. Thank you so much. It's too many. What is the possible outcome for Cancer in this love connection? The first half of September. Let's take this one. No, I don't. 
feel comfortable with that. <laughs> All right, one, one card. Oh, here we go. All right, so we have the Seven of Cups. So I think <laughs> what our energy here, this is a very confused energy, very daydreamy kind of energy looking at all the options, looking at everything here and being like, I don't know what to do. I'm just confused. I'm like a zombie there, you know, just like, ugh, cancer. I mean, your outcome could be if you don't move forward and end the stalemate with you and your partner, if you don't come out of this fear of this connection or you, you know, you're just going to continue to be in this energy of going round and round and round and being confused and being like a zombie. <sighs> don't want to be a zombie cancer don't want to be a zombie all right let's get more clarification now for you cancer in this connection okay more clarifiers for normally i would take from the top but i can't really do this with this deck because there's images on both sides so i kind of have to do it this way all right so we have the well we have the two of cups here and we have the Page of Swords. So the Two of Cups here, you know, you see the star there, which is about healing. So this can be healed. This is divinely guided soulmate connection here, definitely, because we had soul, soul, soul over here, divine feminine. Underneath joy, we had another soul card. This is a divinely guided soulmate connection here, which is wish fulfillment, dreams coming true, two people coming together as one, but not quite there yet because, you know, it's being, you know, guided by the star, by the divine energy, but yet not yet coming into union yet because it's in reverse. It's nighttime. So it hasn't been fully illuminated yet to the two of you that uh, this is a soulmate connection. I feel like at least you do know that. But here's the Page of Swords. So this is about, you know, I believe that's the Page of Swords. Or is that the Knight? No, it's the Page. So, you know, communication. So again, there needs to be clear, open, honest communication in this connection. Cutting away energy is no longer serving this connection. Speaking with truth and clarity standing up for the connection the page of swords can be about you know keeping tabs of each other online so maybe you're kind of like stalking each other's social media what are they doing what are they up to what are they doing but yet nobody's coming forward just kind of watching from afar oh boy so what else do we have for cancer what else do we have for cancer There's the Ace of Pentacles again. So this is a brand new beginning. And this is the offer. So there can be this brand new beginning with the Earth energy here. This is the Earth energy of being stable, sturdy, grounded. Building a foundation and moving forward together for the long haul. The Pentacles are for the long haul. Stability um, energy. Growth and abundance in this connection. But we have the King of Swords in reverse. So nobody is speaking their truths. Nobody is coming forward. Um, there are kind of, you may be in kind of like a negative energy because it may be affecting the people around you if you're kind of in a bad space energy because of this connection. You know, people around you may be saying, my God, what's going on with her, you know? <laughs> so not in a good energy with this King of Swords reverse. And I feel like it's because of this going on right now with your connection. So, King of Swords, upright, you need truth, clarity, and uh, conversations here. But yet, being in a negative space because nobody's making any forward movement in this divine soulmate connection. Cancer. Wow. All right. This way. Hey, that one wanted to stay, so we'll take that one. We have a few more. Cancer, a few more for Cancer, let's get, let's get a few more, thank you, let's get one more, one more for Cancer, one more for Cancer, alright, okay, so, 
we have the four of swords here which is air energy so this is you know people taking you know you may be on a break right now you may be uh, again in this meditation contemplating mode about this connection the two of you perhaps again being at a standstill stalemate thinking reflecting uh, recuperating rejuvenating whatever you're doing here healing but that's just being uh, off on your own and not really taking any action so we have the eight of swords so mental blockage here your energy again so again people not making any moves and being bound and tied up by this connection though you can break free because uh, you're loosely tied here and you have the sword right there so you can break free of this mental entrapment between the two of you if someone comes forward and now you have the um, I think this is the page of wands which is about you know fiery passionate communication so again nobody's coming forward with any kind of passionate exciting offers or communication about how you truly feel about each other. You may just burn this connection down to the ground and nothing may, cut, may come of it because nobody's taking any movement forward. But it can rise up again if you take the blinders off, cut yourself free, come out of the stalemate mode and communicate to your person because the new beginning is there for you right here. So now we have the fool energy. But it's in reverse, so again, again with the star here, divinely guided connection, but not willing yet to take this leap of faith and jump right in, because people are being stubborn, people aren't willing yet to um, take this leap. So either you both just aren't ready, or neither one of you want to step on each other's toes, so nobody's making the first move. But you both are feeling the connection, soulmate connection. But, um, I don't know. So let's see what's on. Usually I would do the bottom of the deck. So, so we have the Ace of Wands here, which is, again, can be a brand new beginning. Very passionate, fiery uh, beginning here. But, you know, somebody needs to make the first move again. Still in the dark about this new beginning. Nobody's making any moves. Ten of Swords. Uh, this is about endings and completions. So, I mean, this may just end if nobody comes forward. It may just come to a complete abrupt end. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. So, again, um, you know, this can be the offer coming in. You know, thinking about it. You know, here's my offer. I want to extend it out. Um, earth Energy. Here's the Earth Energy again. So, the offer is there. The potential is there. For offers coming in, either you or them, for the long haul, sure, steady, stable, grounded offer and building together successfully and having growth and abundance. Very sh secure, stable offer here. And then you have the Hierophant. So this could be a very committed relationship, could even have marriage in the future. This is Taurus energy with the uh, Earth energy. So there could be the potential here for marriage, commitment. Um, and this connection if somebody makes that offer instead of just ending it and not willing to communicate this brand new beginning so you're kind of stuck and at a stalemate um, cancer oh boy let's see let's put this right here all right cancer let's get some advice and guidance for you going forward advice and guidance for you moving forward advice and guidance for cancer and this love connection moving forward spirit please thank you so much what is the advice and guidance for cancer moving forward in this connection first half of september well <laughs> can i get any more clear look what just fell out is the letter again seven of swords energy here so being like self-deceit between the two of you like not like deceiving one another like pretending like oh yeah you know we're just friends or you know acting like you really don't want this connection or you know you don't have this divine connection but in actuality you do seven of swords is kind of like that self-deceit kind of energy wearing a false mask around one another and then you have nine up here 
which is coming to the end of a cycle. So, you know, the cycle in this round and round and not giving in to this divine connection, which can have all this joy and happiness, you know, and here's the communication with the letter. So again, somebody needs to communicate, um, whether it's you, maybe just writing a letter, an email, a text or something here saying, hey, can we talk, can we chat, or just telling them truly how you feel. If it's easier in a letter or an email, then I would say, you know, do that. And being honest. Nine, also dreams coming true. You know, maybe stress, anxiety. Uh, very stable, independent energy. Um, wanting to fight for it, being the wounded warrior, but not giving up. What else for cancer? The key. Right, so you both have the key to each other's heart. You both do, and there's the rose in the middle. So they can unlock your heart, and you can unlock their heart. And we have 33, which is 6, which is about going into that very balanced healing energy. And then we have the 8 of Pentacles, is which putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work in this connection, unlocking that door of opening your hearts and coming forward. Wow. Wow. Anything else? Right, and there's a four. Oh my God, and this is again with the stability, the foundation with the earth energy. This is the happy home and family. This is coming together. Commitment. It could even be marriage. Firm, solid foundation and home basis. And stability with the four, the king of hearts, the king of cups, that's your energy. Definitely a lot of love and emotions here and feelings between the two of you, but nobody's coming forward. And, yep, seven with the deceit here with the snake. So again, you know, being kind of like a sneaky snake and just kind of, you know, uh, acting like, yeah, whatever, when deep down you both know that this is a soulmate connection. There's a lot of love and emotions here. The queen of wands down here is that fiery, passionate energy, go-getter. And there's the, the two swans coming together, like the two soulmates coming together as one. And six again with healing and balance. The knight of cups or the page of cups here is taking the action movement forward, speaking with um, love, emotions, and feelings between the two of you, soulmate union. Wow. And we have the... Um, I forgot what you call this thing here. Uh, but anyway, cutting away this energy between you that's no longer serving you. Sith, I think it's called. Ending the old ways, the starting over, starting new, starting fresh. The Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, again with that slow moving earth energy, taking it very slow, you know, cutting away all this old energy and planting new seeds, starting over, starting new, starting fresh, slow, steady growth in the foundation and moving forward. Yep, there can be, you know, the happiness, joy, success through these dark energies around you. Healing and balance again. King of Wands now. We have the Queen of Wands over here. So, yep. People need to take off the false mask and come forward in their truths. For stability, the basis, the foundation. Yep. Yep. Cancer, get out of this stuck energy. Someone needs to make the first move before you lose the soulmate connection here. Deep, deep soulmate connection. Truths need to be told. Communication moving forward. Okay, Cancer, I hope this resonated for you. Um, if it didn't, check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something in there will resonate for you. I would say disregard the dates. You find a title resonates for you. I'd say watch it anyway. There may be a message in there for you. Good luck to you here in your situation, and if you do like my style, you like how I read, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the little bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so please do not miss out on that. So good luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.